Hi guys, so today um, I would like to discuss about a new tool that have been released pretty recently, uh, to be honest. Um, it's E9IFL. So the main concept of this tool is uh, basically to take a binary. So um, I, I think it's mainly working on Linux, but um, let's, uh, let's give it a try. So you are taking a binary and uh, basically what we're going to do is a binary, uh, the, the technique is called binary rewriting. So that means you're going to take this binary and you're going to insert some additional instruction um, inside this binary. So the main reason we are uh, we're going to use that um, and that's what this tool is uh, about. It will inject the uh, IFL routine. So basically when you are compiling a target with IFL, IFL will add some instrumentation code, uh, what we call the IFL scheme. And basically um, if you are not able to recompile a target, uh, so you are doing like black box fuzzing, um, you will not, of course, get those IFL scheme inside the target. So that will be an issue because that means you are not able to fuzz this closed source binary, except if you are using like the IFL QMU mode or the IFL Frida mode, uh, Frida mode, uh, like the, the video uh, we uh, discussed uh, previously. So in such cases, uh, there is this tool, um, pretty recent tool, uh, that will basically take this binary, inject the IFL scheme, and you will be, it will be like um, you compile this binary from scratch, but it's actually not the case. So really efficient, and uh, what I would like to you, uh, I mean, what I'm doing today is basically to give a try to this tool and show you the, the benefit and show you how easy it is to use this tool and uh, especially the result is this is this faster or not than uh, the classical stuff that uh, we have uh, in our hands like AFL, uh, QMU and Friday mode. Um, so that will be the, the main question we're going to answer uh, today. So this tool is available on uh, this uh, GitHub repository. So it's basically uh, using the E9 patch that is actually a tool that the author also developed and uh, it, this uh, other tool uh, will actually also allow you to do binary rewriting, but not just for uh, injecting AFL stuff. You can also um, do some stuff like, uh, I think there is some ex examples that are pretty interesting, uh, like um, interception of syscalls. Uh, you can, of course, maybe a patch um, and add some uh, logging mechanism directly in the binary and so on. So a bunch of tools uh, that is uh, possible. So as usual, you have all the uh, cheat sheet for uh, the installation and the complete tutorial uh, on the first link uh, on the description below. So uh, you will need IFL or IFL++ as you want. Uh, in my case, I will use IFL++. Um, so if you want to install IFL, you can just do a sudo apt install um, IFL and it will work. And for IFL++, you will need to um, get it directly from the uh, IFL++ repository. So I'm going to be quick on that it's the same target that i'm always using for the uh, black box fuzzing um, tutorials uh, so it's pdf info it's not a really awesome target and uh, and i'm not providing like a, a really awesome corpora but it will be enough for uh, what we're going to do so we have the target uh, we are preparing the fuzzing folder so i basically have a corpus of pdf right there and um, yeah, that's pretty much all I create, like an out folder for AFL. Then the most interesting part will be uh, running E9 AFL. So uh, in my case, I'm not able to compile the E9 AFL tool. So that's uh, the, the main issue. So um, what I've done is actually um, taking a look at the release um, stuff that they provide. So you have the release right there so you can directly download the already compiled binary directly uh, from this link so that's uh, pretty pretty nice that's i provide the stuff so that's what i've done and i have my um, e9 uh, ifl stuff uh, right there 
okay so i have e9 afl e9 patch e9 tool already everything is already uh, compiled so uh, the next step for me will be to instrument and provide pdf info to e9 afl in order to um, get the instrumentation over it so i already done that but let me uh, show you um, right there the the exact command line so e9 afl e9 um, afl and i'm providing pdf info um, so let me actually remove pdf info.afl just for you to to see and then i can directly uh, use the same and yeah so you will get a, a bunch of stuff you have actually like the command line uh, and so on uh, and more specifically what is really interesting is there is there sorry you have the um, size uh, of the um, original PDF info file and we have the output file. Um, so the instrumentation seems to be okay. We can actually verify that by doing a string PDF info dot AFL uh, grep and we are looking for AFL. So as you can see, we have some strings regarding E9 AFL. So it seems to be okay. The final step will be to run the fuzzer. So let me show you that right there. So I'm using, in my case, uh, AFL++ is at a specific uh, directory, uh, dash i corpus pdf. So that's the uh, my corpora, uh, dash o out, that's the output corpora. Uh, and then I'm providing a pdf info.afl and uh, at at, that will be like the replacement uh, keyword for AFL. Uh, what I can first show you is basically what's happening if I'm not providing PDF um, info.afl, the instrumented version. So what you will see is that, uh, so first of all, we have an issue because yeah, the output folder is the one I've already used. So let me create like a new one just for the example so the first this error you will get is basically no instrumentation detected so actually afl tried to run the, against this pdf info binary it was looking for the afl scheme uh, the uh, afl instrumentation and it was not able to find anything so that's an issue so right now let's give a try with pdf info afl and what you can see right there is that um, actually the instrumentation and the the all the corpora seems to be um, currently processed by AFL, so it seems to be working. And right now we have a working uh, AFL++ um, and uh, we have an execution speed of around 650 uh, exec per second. Okay, so it's working well, uh, perfect. So that was the first step, uh, basically running, um, like using E9 AFL and running that with AFL++. Um, to answer to the question, is it better or not to um, against um, AFL QMU, uh, for example, I've actually run um, AFL um, E9 AFL plus AFL++ plus plus and on the other side the QMU mode uh, with the exact same corpora and I wait like one night to see uh, a bit more the, the result. So that's the uh, two different um, execution. So on one side, this side is uh, the one with E9 AFL and this one is with the QMU mode. So what you can actually see is um, in terms of cycle, um, so the, the first thing we're going to discuss is actually the execution speed. You can see that E9 AFL is way faster than the QMU mode. And it makes sense because in one case with E9 AFL, um, AFL will just execute the target. And on the other side, um, AFL will execute the target inside the QMU. Uh, so inside the, the, I mean, it will be instrumented inside QMU. So it will add a lot of slowdown uh, to the, to the stuff. So in terms of uh, comparison, we have like uh, around um, 700 and 200 on the other side. You can confirm that with the total executions that have been uh, done over 16 hours. We have uh, 13, uh, 37 million and uh, only um, eight or nine million on the other side. So you can clearly see the main advantages in terms of speed. It's confirmed by the number of cycles that have been done. So um, AFL, uh, inline AFL 
and AFL++ uh, succeed to do like 19 uh, cycles and the other side only 7. Something that can look weird um, could be uh, in terms of the, um, the, the coverage. Um, on one side, you have um, with in AFL, the coverage is lower than on the other side. And in the same way, uh, you have uh, less um, new edges um, on, on this side. Um, and um, in terms of the last new path, you can see that in the QM new mode, uh, it succeeds to find like a new path more recently. So it could look weird because you can first think, uh, okay, if there is more execution, uh, it should find more path. Um, it will actually be the case most of the time. Um, to be honest, I suppose that the main issue in this case is maybe the instrumentation on QMU is done a bit more different than on the other side. Uh, also, something to take in, in consideration is um, we, I mean, you can take a look at what INIFL is doing exactly, but um, I will say that um, I don't know all precise the instrumentation will be done by in an IFL um, is um, to to make it simple the main question is it will be um, is in an IFL is using uh, instrumentation at the edge level at the basic block level and so on so since we are not able to really compare uh, if the instrumentation are done exactly in the same way it makes sense that the results are not uh, the same in terms of path uh, because we don't know like the total number of possible uh, paths or the total number of uh, instrumentation scheme that have been added in one on uh, and on the other so that's the main reason what is definitely more important for me is the speed uh, because uh, of course for the same amount of time uh, we are able to uh, like do like a factor four factor five uh, in terms of uh, number of total execution and um, that's for me the most important point because um, uh, it will uh, give us a better result over the time. Also, something to take in consideration. Um, in the same way, I don't know if in, uh, if in the QMU mode, uh, you will get all the different mutation algorithms that will be uh, in place, uh, where um, on the other side with uh, inline AFL, uh, as you can see, you even have uh, some more recent mutation algorithm like the mopt uh, and so on. So um, in, in the same way, uh, you can also leverage uh, better on, on that part. Um, some things that could be also done uh, in the future uh, could be interesting is to create the E9 ong first, for example, or E9 leap further. Um, and uh, in, in such cases, especially E9 ong first, um, in that case, you will need to not inject the IFL scheme, but you will inject the ong first uh, scheme, ong first instrumentation um, uh, piece of code inside the target. And that means you will be able to use um, E9 um, ong first with uh, ong first and maybe get even better results. I don't know. I mean, AFL++ is pretty nice. Um, the author uh, pro provides some example with uh, the, the pure vanilla AFL, but definitely you, you should use AFL++ for that. It's, it will be even better. So I hope you appreciate uh, and uh, please uh, give a try and um, tell me your, your result and if you are getting better results as well. As usual, uh, since we are on this uh, black box filling series, you have all the um, source code, the cheat sheet, the videos uh, directly available also on my platform and you will find out all the um, other videos uh, that I have uh, released uh, over the time. So I hope you appreciate and um, let me know what you would like to see uh, on the next videos and um, yeah, see you for the next one.